Now, Sticking with the Royals, a one-off documentary, takes us behind the royal curtain tonight with exclusive access to the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla, as she marks her 75th birthday, guest editing Country Life magazine. Are you much of a swimmer? I love swimming. And I love English sea. Ah, <laughs> even if it's cold? I don't mind the cold. I think we were so used to it when we were children that, um, I don't know, just... Uh, it doesn't bother me after the initial, you know, horror of stepping in and gasping. Uh, it, you feel so much better when you come out. It's a lovely feeling. You feel completely invigorated. Do you take your swimming costume everywhere you go? Try. <laughs> Not that I can swim in many places. <laughs> Wonderful. And the man behind the documentary, Michael Wildman, joins us now. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. It was lovely. I, I particularly loved this. When, when Camilla was, the Duchess of Cornwall, was out walking with the dogs and you spent a lot of time with her and she seemed to give more during those moments. It feels like a quite a deeply personal film for the royals, which we don't often see, Michael. Yes, we were given very privileged access and uh, you don't normally, or often, I don't at least go walking with the future queen consort as she uh, chats to me and her dogs. That's Beth she's got and she had Bluebell earlier, slightly uh, undisciplined Jack Russells and she's very funny about them. No, it's a lovely relaxing way to get to know people. Oh, there they are on, your, on the screen. Um, and pearls. that's them. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. The country life has a tradition, or used to have a tradition, tradition of posh ladies uh, called the girls in pearls on their front uh, frontispiece. And with a great sense of humour, I think the Duchess of, York, of, of Cornwall, who, who knows that magazine well, decided that she, for her guest edition, she'd put her two Jack Russell Terriers in her own pearls. So <laughs> it's, it's a fun... It's a fun, it was a fun venture. It was, it, was, it was an extraordinary thing to do, to spend time with uh, Camilla uh, as she guest edited and as she went around her royal, royal duties and in and, and private at Highgrove. It was fascinating. It is wonderful. And of course, uh, it's to celebrate this um, new edition uh, with uh, the Duchess of Cornwall as the guest editor. And I've got uh, the edition which is out today with Country Life. And within the documentary, you find out that when Prince Charles was guest editor, he broke records in terms of sales. And I think Camilla would like to break his record. Is that right? That, that is, she's quite discreet about it, but it's quite clear that they're quite competitive and um, she is keen to see if she can beat his circulation figures. So she's she's very authentic. She comes across as someone who's real, uh, a little, you know, that doesn't mean to say she doesn't love her husband, but there's competitive... <laughs> relationship between friends and and indeed husband and wife there they are and in fact we had a lovely scene we were filming in the dining room of Clarence House as the editor and the features editor were showing the page proofs for her inspection and um to completely everybody's surprise Prince Charles walked in because obviously after all it's his home and he was quite curious to see how his wife was doing and uh, it's really fascinating to see the two of them together it's a very easy relationship clearly and there's a lot of fun in that relationship I, ha I have you know, met them quite a number of times and they always seem to be laughing. And I know that, that she is a very funny woman. You know, you, I think a lot of people watch her and think, oh, I'll have a night out with Camilla, it'll be a good night, good girl's night out. I think she'd be great company. I mean, she was good company when we were with her. I, I'm not saying we spent hours and hours just shooting the breeze and drinking. That wasn't quite the nature of the filming. But it, <laughs> we, it, it, I got the sense absolutely with her that um, she doesn't, she, she, Obviously, she knows about her, she's aware of her position, but she doesn't stand on ceremony. And um, in fact, we talked to Paul O'Grady at the Claridge's part, at the party at Claridge's that uh, Country yeah. Life were having the 150th, 125th year. And he was very funny about how funny she can be. And um, we also spoke to a friend of hers, who's a, a close friend of hers, and she talked about her sort of risque. Even I, I asked, did she have a naughty, did she tell naughty jokes? And, and clearly she's quite capable of uh, possibly after a class or two, uh, or even without, of, of having fun and being informal and uh, a little bit naughty. Well, if our wonderful Paul O'Grady says it, that's a, that is a seal of approval, royal approval of a different kind, if he says she's fine. Um, we find out a lot more about Camilla because it is all about 
this edition of uh, Country Life. And it, I found it quite interesting because she talks about her loves of wild swimming, which you've seen, dogs and horses. And she says she's very much a country girl. And I just want to read this bit out. She said, on these pages, I've sought also to explore challenging subjects, the ever increasing rise in rural crime, the struggles faced by family farms that can tragically result in suicide. She doesn't back away from this. And, uh, and the uniquely difficult circumstances of those experiencing domestic abuse in remote areas. So this is not uh, all buttercups and daisies, as she says. It's, it's the darker side too. And you explore that in the film. Indeed, as you say, she says it's all not all buttercups and daisies. And we filmed her with, uh, at, a, at a, an event with victims of, or survivors rather, of domestic abuse. And it was fascinating uh, watching her to see the, the way, Carol, it was, you, you can see when people are awkward and when they are at ease, and she was able to be at ease and put other people at ease. And we filmed her talking, for example, to a male victim of, of domestic abuse, perhaps unusual and unexpected. And she was empathetic, she listened, she understood, she didn't stand on ceremony, she looked him in the eye, and uh, you could tell all the people she engaged with felt they were being listened to and you know that's important and it's in a way it's part of the job of being a royal to be able to do that but it seemed to me watching her that that comes naturally and also on the family side not just her relationship with prince charles but um catherine uh, the duchess of cambridge took the photograph she really is a very good photographer and they are very close the two of them Yes, she, Camilla talked about that, the, the taking of that photograph, which was obviously a bit of a coup for Country Life magazine to get that. And um, she described how, you know, they, it was relaxed, there was no hair and makeup, they had a laugh, it was, it was just the two of them. That photograph was taken by her dresser, I think, so there was nobody, not even Country Life were there. But, the, but, but, the, but Camilla talked to us and to Country Life about the taking of that photograph. And clearly they get on and uh, there's a relaxedness to it. And obviously Camilla chose Catherine, as she calls her, uh, to do so because they get on well. And, and she probably knows that to have a good and relaxed portrait, it, the relationship with the photographer is important. Obviously, professional photographers are good at putting people at their ease. But I think from Camilla's point of view, that was it was a lovely experience and it comes across in the results. Oh, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for making it. We're all looking forward to seeing it. And uh, thank you, Michael. And My pleasure. Camilla's Country Life airs tonight at nine o'clock this evening on ITV. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.